Hi everyone, so a little bit of a training update for you guys. I have not been quite as active on YouTube lately. I've been very busy with my new website launch, um, PowerFitPerformance.com, and just clients, lots of clients competing. Actually, this past weekend I handled two clients at a meet here in Columbus, and then had another client doing a bodybuilding show, and another client doing a powerlifting meet um, in Columbus, or I'm sorry, not in Columbus, in the United, or no, it was not in the United States, it was in Poland, huh. So, Katie Ann LLC is going worldwide. <laughs> um, so, just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a training update. I do post quite a few training updates on my Instagram, Katie Ann 100, but I also have been posting form tips on my Instagram PowerFit Performance, so it's just at PowerFit Performance. But I am getting back into squats, woohoo! So after taking about a month off of back squats, I did not do any back squats for an entire month. That's hard to believe, right? The longest break I've ever taken. I got back into some back squats. This was this past week, sets of 12 with 235 pounds. I felt like I was gonna die, like my breath. Um, just 12 reps I is absolute cardio, especially on squats where it's a full body movement and it's very intense. Um, so just getting back into squats with some higher rep, lower intensity work. <clears throat> this was the next day. This was 320 pounds for sets of eight. So on deadlifts, I am, I've still been doing just normal deadlifts and also block pulls. So one day a week I'm doing block pulls and then one day a week I'm doing normal deadlifts, which these are normal deadlifts from the floor. Um, I have been also keeping hip thrusts in my program. So that is one thing that I do believe helped quite a bit with my lockout. Um, I previously have had issues with my lockout the top of the deadlift so if you'll notice I'm very fast off the floor which is typical of a conventional pull and not so much a sumo pull typically sumo is a bit slower off the ground but I tend to be pretty fast off the ground and explosive off the ground just because of my quad strength so an issue issue for me tends to be just powering off the floor and then getting stuck at the top of, of the deadlift. So adding in block pulls where essentially the first two inches off the ground, that momentum that I tend to have that's very fast is taken out, um, have been very helpful. So I have some block pulls that I will show you guys here in my training footage, but overall just feeling good on deadlifts. They've been really strong this past block. I felt like I improved so much on my deadlifts and I hit that big pull at the Arnold that was relatively easy for me, um, which was 424 pounds, so big PR, and it was one of the best technical lifts that I've ever had in terms of a PR. Um, so here are just some glute ham raises that I add in, so I do add in a lot of bodybuilding work still, so I am looking to compete at Raw Nationals for powerlifting, so that's USAPL Raw Nationals, where I'll be competing in the 72 kilogram class. But next year, I want to do a bodybuilding show, so I really do miss it. Um, oh, and then just a hang. <laughs> Those hangs are actually really effective for releasing your lower back, um, and just, I, I do either hangs like that off the glute cam raise, or I just hang from a bar, from a pull-up bar. So here is some back, um, just assisted pull-ups that I do for back accessory work. But I have been adding in a lot of bodybuilding work as normal, but also even, more so focusing on it so making it a priority so not just from a training perspective but from a mental perspective so if that makes sense so mentally i'm thinking of making my accessory work a priority so these are straight arm pull downs um, really focusing on pulling down with your lats and not just with your arms um, that can be a common mistake with those is trying to just pull down with with your arms as opposed to engaging your lats a lot so if you see there, my lats are firing as I, as I do these reps. Um, so for me, mentally, I've just been focusing a lot more on making them a priority in terms of my how I set up my training. So I've been just go, thinking okay, about, on. okay, what are my weaknesses for bodybuilding and how do I need to improve them? How do I need to work on them? Nice. So obviously still keeping in main lifts and we're adding in back squats. So the, this was 255 pounds for... Um, sets of 10 reps here I almost died 10 reps is just so many reps <laughs> I haven't done sets of 10 in like honestly I think over a year 
um, just because the way my training's been set up. Come on, let's I just go. have let's not go. had them as I haven't had the. All the fucking it hasn't been necessary today. to sort of reset and then go up to you know really high volume, but it was definitely necessary after the Arnold. I was having a trap impingement, and that's why I took off a full month from back squatting because the bar just sitting on my trap, since I do low bar, um, sitting on my trap was just causing a lot of pain in my shoulder, and then it was going into my neck. So taking that month off, though, I have not had pain in about three weeks at all. So that's encouraging. Um, here are the block bowls that I was talking about earlier. So this is 340 pounds for sets of eight um, with full resets. So some people don't seem to understand what resets are. So resets are where you either stand up um, or you even walk away from the bar completely and get reset up. So as I drop the weight, it shifts a little bit. So I want to make sure that I am setting up exactly the same for every single rep, especially with 340 pounds. Think about if you're even two inches off and you pull up wrong, that can be a lot of pressure on your lower back that, is, that can go very wrong if you're off by a few inches or, or by a little bit. So for me, standing back up, it allows my back a little bit of a break in between reps um, to take the load off my lower back. And then two, I also take my breath at the top of the rep as opposed to when my hands are on the bar because I feel like I can get a bigger breath um, into my belt and below my belt as opposed to breathing when I'm bent over. Um, so for me, it's really just taking a breath when I would in a competition rep. So doing each rep as similar as possible. There, it's like doing sets of competition reps. I do a full rep in competition, so why not do full reps in my practice? So that is my philosophy on resets. I think that I prefer for all my clients to do resets. If they don't do full resets, I like them to do partial resets where they keep their hands on the bar and then take a big breath in and, and do the, the uh, subsequent reps as, in, as single reps, even though they're keeping their hands on the bar the whole time. Um, that is much better than bouncing off the ground. Never bounce deadlifts off the ground. <laughs> I don't think it's necessary ever. Um, it can be dangerous and it can cause injury. So here, just some lateral raises, really been adding in quite a bit of shoulder work. My shoulder's been feeling really good, so I've dealt with a shoulder injury in the past, but taking out um, low bar squats for a while has really helped it heal up. And then also we took out uh, bench press for a while but now we're adding that back in with some 10s and 12s as well. Um, I was just doing dumbbell bench press for a while. So that's a little look at some of my training recently. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will talk to you soon. Be sure to follow along on Instagram and Facebook and then also my new website, powerfitperformance.com. And I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks.